Keaton well, and Bale with, with the conduit. With the conduit, Keaton and Bale with the conduit. Oh yeah, here's an interesting conduit. fact. Are you ready? Yeah. Are you sure you're ready? Yeah, I'm sure about that. Okay. I forgot it. I forgot it. I forgot it. Hey, Bate, how's it going? Hey. Oh wait, I remembered. You remember? Yep, I'm the last known conduit uploader. There is. Nobody else uploads this game but me. Really? Yep. I'm actually officially the last. Out of the whole TCON community? Yes, out of the entire the conduit community. I'm the only oh. one. Hmm. Still uploading this? Yeah, so at least semi. I expected that. Semi consistently, though. Oh, yeah, I noticed something funny uh, when we were looking at the. Uh, you know, whenever uh, the dates that certain Disney movies released, that me, you, and Wack each had one released on. On our, on our birthdays. birthdays, yes, but uh, I'm not gonna give away which one came out on my birthday. No? No, because people could look that up. Mm, yeah, that's true. Uh, Zoya, specifically, would do that. Oh wait, she probably already knows. Oh yeah, that's true. She's but that much of a it, stalker. The getting to it, the one that came out on Wax's birthday really matches him. Oh, was it Kron <laughs> Kronk's new groove? <laughs> yeah! That's right. Yeah, yeah, that works. That works extremely well. And the one that came out on my birthday was, well, not really my birthday yet, because it came out a good long time before ah. I was born, so... Was it your happy unbirthday? <laughs> it's well, Alice, right? It had to have been Alice, if that's the case. Yeah, it wasn't, uh, wasn't Alice, but Alice was certainly great. It's your happy unbirthday! <laughs> what was that guy's name? The Mad Hatter? Yeah, yeah, you got it. That's your happy on birthday! <laughs> the bunny with his tea. That other bunny ah, I the light on. I wanted half a glass. White rabbit was still <laughs> still probably the cool one of the coolest. Uh, Matt Hatter might have been the best character of that movie though. He was pretty hilarious. Yeah, at least I could kinda do the Mad Hatter's voice, but I cannot do the bunny's voice. The white but the white rabbit. The white guess. rabbit, yeah. He was one of my favorite characters. He was great. Yeah. Was um was Alice a Toho? Because she had those same kind of dress that the Toho people. Anyways, yeah, uh, Jackson can answer me that, I'm sure. Of course, Jackson the Cheshire is. Cat was great, or is Alice? Ah! <laughs> the Cheshire. Like, Look over there, it's the Cheshire Cat. <laughs> the Cheshire Cat. <laughs> the treasure chest, sweetie? No, the Cheshire Cat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she would always pronounce his name extra sensitive. So sorry, cat was cool though. The ch 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 cat, that is. <laughs> uh, I can't really aim too well at the. I can't carbonize or snipe in this one because it's. Well, really not in either of them, but the reticle's just so massive. I can't really tell what it's hitting. <laughs> we got the gun that shoots carbon. Yeah, yeah well. Yeah. Well. Yeah. Are you allowed to use pure elements from the periodic table in this game? I guess so. Although carbon doesn't look rainbow colored, it's just flat out gray. I wish I could remember Jackson's <laughs> joke, because you know, all I do is steal Jackson's jokes ever, but I wish I could remember Jackson's joke about the most dangerous compound ever made. I think it was pot is potassium K- He knows a lot about chemistry, I know. What's K? Potassium? Yeah. Okay, it's potassium. Nickel, more than likely, oh, is yeah, that I? Yeah, I saw this. I saw. Uh, or, yeah, he, you he saw this. Okay, this somewhere. Uh, and iron. So potassium. I already forgot. Potassium, iron, and no, potassium, nickel, and iron. Yeah, that's yeah. it. Yeah, that's the most dangerous compound ever made. I, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know if I want to say the punchline. I uh, I get it. I, I, th I think you can get it. <laughs> yeah. But uh, I I don't want to give it up. To the, <laughs> the random idiots. Pretty great joke, <laughs> Sure is. Because it definitely makes sense. Sure does. <laughs> it's your happy on birthday. <laughs> Jackson's getting talked about a lot. If somebody wants a hint, it, 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 it spells something, let's just say. Ah, uh, the um, atomic, what you might call it. Yeah, the, the atomic yeah. letters, which never really makes that much sense. Yep, just randomly spraying because 
course, a lot of people try to put it together. Let's see then. P potassium. P potassium. Uh, nickel. N I. N I. So p. 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 And then I for iron. P N I I. That's what. Uh, P. N. I. You know, that's what most people who don't know chemistry are probably thinking right now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> P. N. I. It's actually a panini. Paninis are dangerous to eat. <laughs> Especially the turkey bacon ones. Yeah, paninis. We're gonna talk about them. Let's see here. Is, oh. is it bad enough I'm the very last commentator? Not even just commentator, the very last uploader of the conduit. Oh yeah, I'm sure. Um, that we're also gonna talk about paninis. Well, since we mentioned this, I might as well uh, bring this up. I'm sure everybody out, uh, you know, everybody watching this is probably thinking, um, you know, that song, I swear by the moon and the stars in the sky, probably thinking that's definitely got to be boys to men. There's no way it's not, right? Yeah, actually, Iggy is in this. <laughs> we said that. We definitely go back and check the video out once more because we definitely said that. Iggy's. Okay, you were saying? <laughs> but yeah. Um, we both have carbonizers. I didn't know there could be two of them. But anyways, you're probably all thinking that's boys to men, right? I mean, it just uh, sounds what, what like that. I swear by that. I swear by the moon and the stars in the sky. I'll be there. I'll be there. Someone's just way <laughs> off on a mountaintop somewhere <laughs> singing along to those guys. Anyways, that's such a good song. It deserved to get number one like it did. <laughs> yeah, what were you going to say about that? It's not Boys to Men. No? No, it's All for One. Who's that? <laughs> that must have been, you know, one of the only things they ever did because that. I don't really have ammo, so I'm pretty lucky to be alive right now. They're kind of a forgotten 90s boy band, huh? Oh, uh, me. no, because I never knew who they were. Oh, yes, I guess. So I never forgot. As a matter of fact, it's, you know, more insulting that to them that, you know, nobody knew who they, they were, but I always just assumed they were boys yeah, to men. Yeah, that song is boys <laughs> to men. I think yeah. they just signed over the rights to that song. Yeah, I think so. I must have, because that song is too much like boys to men. You know who will be there for us? Who? Iggy? Iggy Cop. I, yeah. He'll be there. Iggy might know that song. After all, he does know another man. Yeah. song. He knows uh, I would walk 500 miles. He also knows, um, what was her name? I'm just going to guess Cheryl Crow, even if I'm way off. But it was the, that don't impress me much. Oh, uh, <laughs> Shania Twain. Ah, Shania Twain. Well, who did I say? Uh, Cheryl Crow, who is that? She's another 90s singer, so that's actually not far off. Oh, OK. The styles, I guess, are kind of similar anyway. Not that I know what Cheryl Crow ever did. I'm missing. I am just missing. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that don't impress me. Doop, 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 doop. So yeah, got the washing machine, but the, uh, <laughs> got the clothes. I don't know that song. Anyway, Ziggy knows that singer? Yep. Huh. In fact, his, his fun fact of the day was uh, to make her song sell in the UK. UK. She had to make it a pop, more pop version because Country Western was not really going to sell over there. <laughs> no, I wouldn't see that. Yep, so fun fact there. I don't know who it was fun for though. I guess it's fun for Iggy. Iggy only cares about I couldn't see there being a British country band. Look at Iggy just dominating, <laughs> dominating the HUD deal. It's just packed full of Iggy's all over going hub? away now. The HUB! <laughs> Which, uh, has ponies. Yeah. Peace, Ash! Secret butt fun! <laughs> See, it seems most people, you know, like ponies. That seems the only show they watch on the hub. Yeah, what, on them. what's got? Pound puppies? I've looked on there before, though. Some bronies have said before they do watch pound puppies when it's on, you know, before or after ponies. They sometimes catch it. I doubt that. Ponies just care about ponies. But they, you know, they do say... Bronies just care about ponies. They pretty much say it's okay, but it's just not as good as ponies. Do you put bronies before... Po I mean, like, the whole bros... Be the bro code thing. Do you, is it for bronies? Is it ponies before bronies? Hmm. Or do you still put your bros before the pose? Yeah, Is it bros before pose? Or, or, what's the deal there? Yeah, maybe. I don't see how that wasn't my kill. 
Iggy can take it. He's a nice man. Yeah, pretty much the Bronies don't, don't seem to watch anything else on the hub, although the hub has cool shows. What else is on there? Uh, Pound Puppies and Littlest Pet Shop. Littlest Pet Shop? Yeah, that's a good one. Care Bears is on there. Okay. Are the old one? Uh, new ones. Uh, and uh, Strawberry Shortcake, too. And the Aquabats. The Aquabats? Is that a, sounds like a cartoon. <laughs> no, it's a live action and it's uh, definitely surreal humor. Surreal humor, that's Our a kind. term that probably not too many people are familiar with. It's basically the kind of humor that lacks rhyme and reason. Ah, I see. Kind of like Alice in Wonderland. I'm in one of those positions where I just don't have the ammo anymore. And our stuff, too. Generally, is surreal humor. The super whacktacular stuff? Yeah. Blinding myself works every time. <laughs> see, yeah, usually the other hub shows get, uh... Get some mixed reaction by the brony community. Yeah. They typically only like ponies, but some of them have said pound puppies are okay. One of them really dissed Strawberry, though. Really? Said that show was trash. Well, well, well now what? What? <laughs> that was funny. It can't be that bad. It's not. Yeah, it's not far off from ponies. I, I watch it. I like it. Yeah. Wrong with these pony. Strawberry yeah. shortcake. That's actually a really good show. That's probably that, was that one. That one person who ever said that is probably just a pony perv. He just it doesn't really... seem that it doesn't have as many you know jokes as ponies. Well, yeah, but he a... probably only watches ponies because pony pervs. But I definitely like it for its uh, for its sheer innocence. That show. Yeah, some some shortcake. people like ponies because of the oh that's right characters and the humor. While other baronies. Hardly That's bronies. Right. Pony pervs. A show like Strawberry Shortcake would be way too innocent for bro oh, you know, the bronies out there. I imagine. Cowabunga? That's not right. Okay, no, I mean, anyways. But yeah, uh, pony pervs are a bit innocent. Of course, a lot of them said the same about then like pound puppies either. Yeah. Too many bronies focus on just the ponies. Puppy pervs. <laughs> yeah, I don't think there's really any of them. It doesn't seem to be. No, yeah, I died. So because the majority of the pound puppies' characters are male, so... I had a nice kill streak with Iggy, my buddy, on my team. Not a big female cast like ponies. Yeah, the, the brony, the fandom for, for ponies, actually got whack to stop wanting to be associated with... with uh, Just because of the pony perf? Being a brony, yeah, because the fandom got so out of control. Well, he is at public school. Uh, you know how bad the... You know... Yeah, we've been there. Public high schoolers are. You know how dirty those guys can be. There were, were no pony pervs back then. No. But, uh, so we didn't quite have those. <laughs> no, we didn't. But, uh... We had every other flavor of perv at the time, though. <laughs> yeah, that's for sure. That's, uh... That's high schoolers. Yep. Didn't really talk about... We talked about Jackson more in this commentary than we did Iggy. Oh, yeah, that's true. I, I'm trying to think of something to say about Iggy. May has a rooster. Yeah. May has a rooster. It's a lovely rooster. You can imagine. Iggy has the no, has no. Chicken. Yeah, Iggy actually has a key art, but he said he May. May. Someone may else actually has. Oh, I thought you meant he may have a rooster too. Oh no, May as in a girl named May. Oh, okay. There's some new. Uh, a noob. New subscriber. I mean. Yeah, yeah a noob. Oh, okay. But, uh... But it, what are the odds that two people that play Conduit have chicken? Yeah! Not that chickens are uncommon, but just that who owns chickens? The rooster Nobody being chickens. male chickens, so they really are the same. All roosters are male? Um, yeah, I thought I heard that before, that the, the, uh, the roosters are the males and the chicken are the female, but they're the same type of bird. Oh, just I did not know that. Just a different name. Kind of like how cow's the female and the bull is the male. Wait! one of those kind Ca of All cows are female? I think so. When did this happen? And all bulls are male. I get a 28 kill streak and Iggy still wins because he's Iggy. Hell Iggy! Hey, Iggy can win. Yeah, yeah he works. can. I don't mind Iggy winning. Although, it was a team effort. Senior Ford! Just, just didn't... Yeah. 